Hey, what's going on guys? It's Ozark Apparitions and as I promised, I was going to give you guys a walk through the butcher shack and kind of show you guys how I'm hiding the projector, what we're doing, and uh, what all we got going on with this thing. So uh, the witch's shack is just about complete. I've got a few more things that I want to do to it. Um, and uh, we got the lighting done. Of course, you see all the pumpkins up there. We'll get to the projection in just a minute that's up there. And uh, first I'll walk you through this real quick. So I was playing with the webcaster gun earlier and it's pretty sweet i'm just definitely gonna have to practice that more sorry about the mess it's still kind of a construction zone uh we're just using creepy cloth uh from walmart in the uh, windows right there to give that curtain look which is awesome we're still gonna put a couple of uh reindeer motors on the backs of these both of these windows we'll attach hands to those so that they pull the creepy cloth open and it looks like a hand going back and forth uh just some skeleton bats and we've got a little fence around this thing. It's going to be hard to see in the dark, but there's a fence around this thing. And that's what we have attached these 4 by 4 posts to. And what you don't see, it's going to be hard to, is there's a sign right here. It says, Witch Beware. And then we've taken that, and that's what's hiding our projector. So up here is a shelf. And we're going to put corn stalks on the side of this to hide the sides of the shelf so you won't even see that there. And then that is what's projecting onto the Walmart brand uh, pumpkins. Those are the foam pumpkins by Walmart that are carvable. Uh, so we actually uh, got those at Walmart. Really great price on those. They're about a third or a fourth of the cost of what you're going to pay for the pumpkins out there. And they work just as well. Great material. Awesome for projecting. Uh, all these pumpkins up here, I got most of them screwed down today. Um, I haven't got them all screwed down, but... Uh, yeah, that's just a meticulous job of getting that getting that done, but we will get that done eventually. Uh, just dressing out with some witches potion bottles, stuff like that. And uh, it's working out pretty well. So the projector I'm using, it's just a generic projector. It's a 1100 lumen, 1300 to one ratio. Um, that is the internal speakers you're hearing. I will actually hook up some computer speakers to that to get that a little bit louder. But I'm almost thinking that that is just about loud enough. I don't know if I want it any louder. Um, I'll have to see, of course, with the trick-or-treat noise, it probably will need to be a little bit louder. Um, I've got to get a spotlight attached to the bottom of the shelf that will shine on that ram skull. And that will illuminate that red, and that will illuminate that glow from the projector on, the, on there. So we'll flood that with red. Uh, we are using 330 lumen. They're 30 lumen each LEDs to light this facade. Uh, they're great. They're just sign module LEDs, and we've hidden them back behind there, and as you can see, it puts off a great light on this. Uh, the camera doesn't really pick up the green, but it does show uh, it does show up very well in person. Um, we got a lot more pumpkins that we're going to do around the fence, and then we're going to have the 8-foot towering witch uh, that will be leaning over the fence, uh, swaying over the trick-or-treaters. Um, so this is a new addition this year to our yard haunt. Um, we have got a long ways to go. Uh, this gets us about 30% complete with what we've got done with this and setting up the skull mausoleum facade and all the cemetery columns. Uh, we still got a lot of dressing out to do over there. About 70 more LEDs to wire up and everything, but this is the Witch's Shack. I uh, just wanted you guys to see these projections. Uh, see how we're hiding this projector up here? Pretty simple. Uh, I'm going to tell you that if you do do this uh, with these 4x4 posts, right now I do not have them secured other than to that fence and with a little brace on the bottom. I am going to take some rebar and it will be on the outside. I'm going to take some rebar and I'm actually going to take some steel tie wire and tie that to the rebar just to sure that up enough uh, that you could also, if you wanted to brace something like this, you could go from the posts to the facade. I'm going to eliminate that by using rebar and just do it that way. But this is the projection.